channel. I'm Abby from Abby Sue Costumes, and today I'm going to show you how I built my Wonder Woman movie skirt. I measured my waist where the skirt would sit and used math and freehand to draw the skirt panels to create the pattern. I used an old bikini bottom pattern I created to make the beginning version of the undershorts. I traced these onto the mock-up material. I used pleather to approximate how the leather would work. I pinned and sewed the mock-ups together and made edits with pins where needed. Now it's time to trace the mock-up pieces onto the real leather. I found a textured pigskin in the right color. I found it was too thin on its own to work, so I decided to use the mock-up pleather as a base lining to glue the leather to. This would allow me to wrap the leather around the edges of the pleather for a smoother look. I transferred the labels to the back of every piece so I wouldn't get them mixed up. I cut each piece out with about an inch seam allowance to be able to wrap around the panels. Don't worry, the scissors aren't my good fabric scissors. They are my old good pair that won't hold a good edge anymore. So I use them for things that I want a nice clean edge that isn't fabric such as leather and craft foam. It's useful to keep old scissors. have enough of the pigskin for the shorts, but that ended up being a good thing. I found a nice smooth lambskin in the same navy color that would end up feeling a lot nicer than the pigskin would have. It cuts like butter. I've used lambskin for other projects before. It's one of my favorite to work with for apparel items. You can sew it with a regular sewing machine or by hand with a leather needle.
hand sewed the shorts together and used Barge's all-purpose cement to glue the seam allowances down. I cut a slit for the zipper in the back and hand sewed that in as well. Leather can be slightly stretchy, so these slide on very easily with a small zipper in the back. Moving back to the skirt pieces, I started gluing the wrong sides of the lining and fashion layers together. The process takes some time. I have to glue both sides completely and wait for them to get tacky. The pleather really soaked up the glue, so I have to give that side a bit more. Once it reaches the tacky stage, I can press both pieces together carefully and smooth them down to create the bond. I'm doing this on parchment paper so I don't get any glue on the table. Also, be sure to wear a mask and do this in a well-ventilated area. The fumes are not good for you. I cut wedges in the corners for folding, placed glue on both areas that would need to be bonded, waited until tacky, and then pressed the seam allowances into place.
I glued and hand sewed all the pieces together. The sewing is for stability. The glue would not hold up to all the movement. There are heavy duty snaps to take it on and off. The last step is adding the gold stripe at the bottom. I used blue painter's tape to create the sharp edges and painted a nice gold on. And that's how I made my leather Wonder Woman skirt. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching!